hey guys welcome back to ask hr your channel for authentic hr content the landscape of the modern workplace is changing or let me say has changed there are companies that have announced working from home as a new way to approach work and some have already even started aside the 47 million people that were laid off in 2020 there are lots more people that are committed and working towards increasing their value in the workplace. In a previous video, we talked about why your compensation and your value are inextricably linked. Now, in today's video, I want to share with you three steps to move yourself from step A to the next step. I want to show you how you can increase your value from what it is today. Step one, meeting the basic expectations. Now, before you start trying to expand your um, horizons, it only stands to reason that at least you begin to fulfill the basic requirements of your work. Usually when um, people are hiring, they have a set of duties or responsibilities that they show you that this is what we expect of you. Then you come into the job and you realize that half of the things you do are not in that list and half of the things on the list you actually don't do. In other words, people don't even know what is required of them or what is expected of them. In fact, a recent poll shows that this is the case for 50% of people. They go to work every day and don't know what's expected of them. If this is your situation, what I advise you do is to sit with your immediate supervisor. Bring out this document that outlines what is expected of you and have a conversation about it. Try to find out, or after you're leaving that meeting, be armed with this information. One, what does success in my role actually look like? How do I contribute to the bottom line? And how do I deliver value? So you look at the job description, what are the things I'm focusing on? And what does the organization actually count as value? For you know, the reason the one looks at you all these years you've been in the organization is because you've probably poured your passion into things that they don't um, recognize as value even though it's been listed in there it's not everything there on your job description that is contributing value so you leave that meeting having a clear picture of what can make me visible because then I'll be impacting the bottom line and people can see me for what I do and for the contributions I'm bringing on board. Number two, go on a hunt for areas to excel. We mentioned in the earlier point that you have a sit down with your supervisor and you figure out what is actually expected of me so that you channel your energies right. Now in this step, I'm saying that look for projects that are within your scope of engagement or that are within your scope of responsibility. These are projects that will bring extra value to the company. They may not be things that you do on a daily basis. Now in a previous video, we mentioned Nadia. Let me use her as an example here again. So Nadia is a customer service person. She could have just recited her script to clients who call in with queries as expected of her. But she decided to do this project of actually listening to the things customers are seeing in her responses and the customers' responses as well. Then armed with that information, she decided to help modify the customer service script and that was linked to 10% increase in customer satisfaction, which impacted sales, repeat business and referrals. So now she had figures and data to back up the fact that she's actually delivering value. So you look for projects like that and you decide to embark on them. Number three, you make a plan and you execute it. So you began by getting acquainted with what is required of you. Now you've also identified projects 
that you can do that will just shoot your value now armed with this information you now get to work you get to work to execute your plan so in all of this always make sure that you are documenting the information because you want to go into a conversation with hard facts and figures also you don't have to move yourself from earning thousand Ghana CDs to two thousand Ghana CDs. We learnt in a previous video that for every one CD that you earn, and you can expect you to be bringing in three to five Ghana CDs. So you identify projects that can actually help you increase your earnings. So what projects you work on? What actions I'm going to take and what the results are. Both are documented. Usually, by the time you get to this point, most serious employers would have already noticed you and will initiate the conversation of a raise, of, of a promotion, of more responsibility and other things. However, if this um, conversation is not initiated from their end now, this gives you more confidence with your figures and your fact to go forward and have a conversation that hey i've gotten to this point where i believe i should be given more responsibility and should be rewarded appropriately which is way better than going to say i've been here for so many years so i deserve a raise so follow these three steps design a plan of moving yourself from where you are today to where you want to be as an employee. Make sure you belong to a network of professionals in your industry. Read, read, read. Be an avid reader. So you can see on top of the trends happening in your industry. You always will have something to contribute. Now, there may be someone out there who say, I'm from a very chaotic environment. You have no idea. I, I like the things you're sharing, but it's just not going to work where I am. Well, why don't you just give it a try? Because at the end of the day, you have nothing to lose by adding value to yourself. You're only preparing yourself for the next big opportunity that will come your way. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I like to know your thoughts on this, so share your comments, like, and subscribe. Please don't forget to click the notification button so that you'll be notified of our next video. Cheers.